Well, I'm buddy to the dirt show. This is Adar Payne Tree right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do some dirt. A lot of misconceptions about dirt. Some of them have about too much brown. So I'm gonna do some of the brown in here. It's all about layers, like shreds. Watch this, it's gonna go on kinda heavy. And I have it at the speaker on echo, so it's kinda, that means this is really important. Value-wise and color changes, you need to do that all the time. And when you first do your first base coat, you really want to follow the contour of the land. So if this is going up a little bit, brush strokes should go up. And then also don't have it like too smooth around the base. Coming in here, a little bit of a angles. Right now I've been doing the same color way too long. Change color quite a bit. So think about brush strokes, color, and value. So right now, you might have a lot of color changes, some value changes, but not enough. So now I'm gonna come back in and exaggerate some highlights, like right in there, and figure out where your shadows are, where your light source is coming from, what have you. And like I said, this is all just a base coat. Not just a base coat, but a base coat. All right, so right now it's getting like too smooth. So I'm gonna like rough it back up again. Burn sienna right here white to get a tint and it's all faces or stages and then down here I could even get a little bit darker darker down here a little bit I'll scrub this is all one color so now you can see how flat this bottom part looks very boring no color interpretation I'm gonna come back into this and skip around watch this up here way over here way over here and over here and like connect them a little bit. And then when you're doing dirt though, it's important you walk back, take a look at it, and see if you can see the value changes. Is it making sense? If you paint up close, sitting down, your dirt's not gonna look good from far away. It'll look like one color, one value. Okay, so now we'll come in here, a little darker brown. Shadow-wise, we have a light source coming from over here a little bit, so I'm gonna go black and brown, even get some of the shadows in there. This is all part of stage one. <clears throat> all right, so now I have that. That's gonna rough down. So then what I do is I'll take a sponge. These are big brush strokes. They look like brush strokes. But I can take a sponge and tap it just a little bit. Tap it just a smidge. Not blending, rather kind of like tapping and smearing it just a little bit. It makes it have more of kind of like a natural look to it. And it looks a lot better. All right, that's one phase. I'm going to repeat that phase to like it a little bit better. So right now, I'm kind of starting to see things. Like right here, a little bit of a pocket right here. So exaggerate that pocket. I'll put a little highlight right on top of it. Now I'm going back in and just kind of exaggerating some of the highlights. Like right here, I got a highlight. Exaggerate that. Over here. Coming down. This is still part, this is phase two. Highlights on top of the base coat. And it's a smaller bright brush, so it's not the same size. And you gotta watch out for patterns. Right now I have this and that and that. It kind of looks like a pattern. So get rid of that. I'll take a sponge and then tap that. But now I'm tapping it less. Because it's almost pretty dang good. Now we have a lot of details in there, right? You can see all the highlights and textures. All right, the next thing to do is take a toothbrush. I don't think I, where's my, oh, that is not a magic toothbrush anymore. Huh. <clears throat> this is kind of a magic toothbrush, sort of. Whoa. Take a toothbrush and splatter some of these on there. When you want like the dirt to have like textures to it, the more water you put in your paint with the toothbrush, um, the bigger the dots. So I'll do some white and smash it down. Spank it a little bit. Spray and spank. All right, so I got another layer done. Now I'll rinse off that. 
go back into my black and burn umber. Add plenty of water so it's blue done. Tap that in there. Yet another layer to the thing. And I'll even add more water so the dots are even bigger. Shabam, shabam, shabam. Okay? I was supposed to sound like a gun, but it didn't really help me. I've got to work, work on my sound effects. It's my first time trying a gun. <clears throat> Alright, so now we got that little dots in there. Could do some burnt sienna. If you ever say you could do some burnt sienna, you probably should do some burnt sienna. So here comes some burnt sienna. And tap that out. Now we have that part done. So now I'm gonna do uh, smaller details. I'm gonna take some black, brown, make a glaze, and exaggerate some of the shapes we have in here. Like right here, I have a little top. If I do a shadow right behind it, I'll come across as looking like a little peak or a dirt clod. All right, where's my darker values here? See, it's like a bunch of layers of paint, though. And up here, and this ground is pretty brown, but the reason why is because if you have a tree dropping leaves all the time, that gives a lot of nitrogen to the soil, so therefore it's going to be a lot darker soil. If it was out in the middle of nowhere, like cliffs, your uh, ground and dirt will be a lot grayer. All right, so now I'll add some highlights to it. Whoops, that's still shadow color. And watch this. I'll pick out little bumps like this. Come in here. Add a little shadow to it. All of a sudden, that becomes a rock. Pick out another little lump. Look at that little guy. Watch this. Shadow, shadow. And you immediately got a rock. Just by adding a shadow to a light value. Okay. Let's go over that part. Now, next. That's it for the grass, or on the grass, I should say. I'm going to take yellow and black, mix that up. Yellow and black. So it's like a dark green. Come in here with some of the mossy kind of colors. Put the greens right onto the, the ground, so it's like not like a weed or anything, but I'll show you in a second here. Dark green. And the patterns of the green uh, should kind of follow the contour. So if you're looking down at it, the patterns of the green will be kind of running all over the place. More elliptical. If it's further back, it'd be more like lines. Down here, there are more uh, elliptical shapes. All right, so now I got some little patches of green in the dirt to make it look a little more interesting. Now I'm going to come in there and add a little bit of close-up grass. So I'm doing the grass now on top of that. So watch this. Here's where it gets good. Come in here, make sure it go a little bit darker. Can you have too much contrast? Not really. All right, so darker blades come in here and just add some blades to it. So this is kind of like a William Bouguereau style of grasses. So he has like blurry grass, then he puts in just a few weeds to make the whole thing look good. Come in here, I'll do that again on this side. And when you're doing the grass, you melt the kitten, skinny, wide. If you want little leaves on them, I'll show you how to do that too. So now we have little grassy nuggets. And watch this weed right here. This is gonna be so cute. Watch this, here it goes. Skinny. Wide, spin the brush, get it back to a point. That'll give you these like little adorable little leaves. And I have some dark ones in there. I'll do some medium value ones. I'll do another little couple chunks over here. Oh, so cute. Look at those little guys. They're so adorable. And I'll add some lighter ones too. So this is going to be like a little bit of a lighter green right on top. Texture. Boom. Boom. All 
right, so then I could add um, other leaves on top. I want to make it look like it's kind of coming down, but that looks pretty dang good. Um, flowers. Could add a few little flowery weed kind of things. Watch this. I'll go like little patches of flowers right there. Look like dots right now. Take your finger and blot them out. Then I'll do another one up close. Flower petal. Give you a couple more little guys on top of that. Look at that little flower right there. Makes me want to go smell it. All right, here's another one. Flower, flower friends. Socially distance. Flowers. All right, then blur them out. All right, so that is dirt shell. Without leaves, you can also add leaves and sticks and branches. And cut.